It's Tuesday the 16th of May 2017. A PDS, particularly dangerous situation, tornado watch has been issued for parts of Oklahoma, Kansas and Texas. A dangerous day ahead, as one could say. Uh, strong uh, EF2, the EF5 tornadoes are forecast with a high risk. As long as these things stay away from population, that's all that matters. But something tells me with all these storms, something's going to get a hit somewhere. This cell is just, uh, just south of Pampa in Texas. It's just the start of a very, very long day ahead. Cell further south, but you know it's still early. It's actually done a cell split at the moment. Two cells are split away from each other. Development on this storm is uh, quite significant. It was initially a scud, and within about 25 to 35 seconds, a developing wall cloud. Now this is down towards the Clarendon area, uh, south of our location. We're currently in Allen Reed on the I-40, but as we can see, developing very quickly a situation where. We have almost what you could call a funnel, but it's not quite there yet. What we have is a rotating wall cloud, and that obviously has been reported earlier. We're about to do a new report on that one right now. put another frequency in another radio 439 700 in case we need to go direct um, with uh, less traffic. Copy 439 700. Yeah keep this one active uh, so we communicate with all our group but we go with backup going if we need it. Roger say about the frequency Daniel. Roger I'm probably got the three to There's a turn around bay at half a mile. Let's take it. Very careful assessments here, people. Very, very careful. You're dealing with a violent TDS tornado high risk day. You don't screw around with this. A severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located six miles southwest of Lake McClellan or 16 miles north of Clarendon, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Hi guys, it looks like there might be something going on just, oh, just north of 42. Don, do you want to set up on 439-750? If Jeff was right next to us, it would be different. Jeff, where are you right now? I know. Gentlemen, we're switching to 439 700. 439 700. Tree damage is likely. Locations of patches. You got me? I got you. Take cover now from flying to the Possible debris. funnel left hand side. Repeating. Not quite yet there. Until 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Gray, Texas. Not quite yet. The National Weather Service has issued tornado watch numbers. Stay inside the car, very high light risk. Effective until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. This watch includes the following counties yeah. in Texas, Gray, Hemphill, Midscum. Multiple areas of rotation across this cell. 
and currently tornado warned. Hasn't actually produced a tornado, but it's coming very, very close. Lots of rotating wall clouds, very wide area of rotation, very dangerous situation, high risk, and high risk of uh, very strong or violent tornadoes today. The tornado warning for southeastern Texas and northwestern Mississippi Keep it on. everywhere. The tornadic thunderstorm which prompted the warnings has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. Southeast wind at 24 miles an hour, gusting to 35. Cloud 12 southwest, the temperature 83 degrees. In rotation. We're dealing with the main rotation inside the rain core. Um, very not clear. We've got both storms currently tornado warned. Possible funnel just behind that car. At night, the temperature was 78 degrees. A southeast wind at 16 miles an hour. Negative rotating wall cloud. Diamond, sunny, 84 degrees. Wind close at 16 miles an hour. One thing we're going to make sure of is, okay, final report on the southern, uh, southern core. Mostly sunny. I heard Jeff say they had one, uh, developing tornado just north of Clark. Dallas, Fort Worth. I, I don't see one in there. Wind was south at 24 miles an hour, gusting to 33. Not yet. South city, cloudy. Down south is going to do it, though. South wind at 21 miles Yeah, let's reposition now before someone crashes their car in the semi. You're approaching a twisting storm. Please exercise caution. Let's get out of the way of this one. While we have good visibility, good visibility, let's get to a position. We are going to get in a position. Yeah, we need to watch the southern cell. This is embedded in rain wraps. Uh, let's get uh, across. We're going to factor the speed and direction of this storm. Wind was out at 24 miles an hour. Gusting I mean, effectively, you could do that and just come in through the back of the hook. But the problem here is you, what, what we're dealing with is a hail core. You'll see the hail core is going to go smash us to pieces here. But you're looking at half an hour before the back of the core gets to us. That's how long it's going to take for us to get here. Yeah, I'll save this option. Just hang out for a bit and see where this thing crashes. When you saw some of the uh, low lands we came through, the, the low water bridges and creeks and stuff, so, yeah, it's, it's probably littered with them down that way. I don't know the road. You're approaching a twisting storm. Please exercise caution. I suggest what we do do is um, go to McLean. Uh, McLean is not far away from here. We go south. And there may actually be a paved option towards it. I can see Farm Road 2451. There's there's probably a few options in there we might be able to take. Okay. Safe options. The road isn't too wet. Oh my god, the traffic. Pretty raggedy right now. Copy that. Yeah, people are just uh, jumping onto the road, no indication. I just passed the Dallas station here back there. There's 80,000 people set up here in a parking lot. Oh my god. Down to 56 miles an hour. I've pulled over, Don. We're south of McLean in Texas. Tornado warning continues. Hail is falling at our location. Uh, currently probably nickel size uh, at most. But what we're looking for is intensification and this storm to become more organized as it makes its way towards uh, our location. Question is, is it going to be the stuff which is embedded near the rain core, or is it going to be uh, more south?
Can really start ramping up in the rotation. Yeah, I'm looking at stuff which is closer to the how core. Jeremy, you guys heading south, you holding up. It's ramping up, but the problem is if you let this thing get away from you, I don't know how we get back in front of it too easily. Yeah, I mean, the only other, other option is maybe turn around and go north and then go across the 40 and see if we can stay with it. Yeah, you got the amount of... Yeah, but you got massive hail. You got massive chaser traffic as well. You think that thing's actually rotating? It's hard to tell. Uh, on, uh, threat that's showing it is. Yeah, it just doesn't look like it's rotating a lot from here, but I'm sure it is. We got some decent hail here. Yeah, it's actually got, uh, good couplet on it. Um, uh, like, right where all these chasers are. Um, hang on. I'm saving my reports. Don, I'm saving my reports for tw confirmed tornado reports only. Whoa. And how? Anything over two inches? Like in the road. This is crazy. Couple of intensive. I can't believe the cops aren't doing anything about it. Probably don't want to get out in the hail. Oh, that you come to, and there's a funnel. There's a funnel. There's a tornado. Yeah, we got a funnel. Copy that. Thinking. I'm actually kind of tempted just to wait for it. Whoa. I should move the car. Seen this. Twisting storm. Please exercise caution. You're approaching a twisting storm. Please exercise caution.
You're approaching a twisting storm. Please exercise caution. to five miles to the south the west of McLean in Texas. Confirmed tornado on the ground, partially wrapped in rain, uh, currently stovepipe, uh, cone to stovepipe and continuing. Rain wrapped. Yeah, it's rain wrapped. As long as it keeps going that way, we're good. And if it doesn't, <laughs> Don, we're safe here. Let's just get standby for second rescue. Actually, got an EMT fire crews right behind us. We're good. Copy that. It's, it's wrapped in rain. Can't see it. You guys getting this? You guys getting this? Southern cell is uh, rotating as well. So you want to jump north and east and south again? Uh, that, I don't know what that was, but it looks like the hook has gone well and truly over us. 
Tornado and golf ball size hail. Short. Radar indicated rotation. If that's where I think the rotation was, there's actually a second area of rotation. Right there could be a second area of rotation. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Yeah, that sounds like something was on there. Windows and vehicles will occur. Okay, let's work this by the numbers. You're dealing with a storm down south, which has a hook heading towards on a collision path to this other storm. It's spitting, spitting off cells into this storm, so you could get things developed above it. This one's looking messy. Hello? Yeah. I'm coming in south side of McLean. Where you guys at? This is uh, Don Sanderson with Daniel Shaw. I think uh, I think they're a little bit out of range. They were shooting east on the 40, I believe. I drew them. It was pretty tornado. Yes, it was. Let's get on the road, Don. We'll never get out. Look at that to the left. VK2 SV, we have a new development on the east of, uh, what correction, west of McLean. West of McLean, we're developing wall cloud rotating. Room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating the damaging tornado. It looks like a source. Okay, copy. Spotters confirm tornado. Impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Well, we're showing a circulation like just in front of us here, kind of over us almost. Okay. New development there. Jeez, it's, it's, this is messy as hell. Okay, copy. Right now, I don't see anything right above us, directly above us, um, as far as like a uh, mezzo or anything. Hey, uh, Jeremy, I'm seeing all the circulation about uh, five to seven miles north and northeast of us. That is not what we're seeing. We are under a circulation almost. A severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 5.45 p.m. Central Daylight. Yeah, it's right in front of us, I guess, but... Texas, Gray and Wheeler. Don, let's head south. Here she's talking about. It looks like it's north of the highway, though. Southeastern Great Counties. Well, we can actually see it. We can actually see the updraft just south of the front of us. God, if you're looking at the uh, radar, there's two areas of rotation, which is rain wrapped and another tornado warning on the back end of the cell. It's a mess. This thing's kind of doing the same thing, but it might get a little more organized. 
I know it's in the wrong spot, but just keep an eye on it. It's, it look like a, that actually looked like a wall cloud for a minute, but it wasn't. So it's, there's no, it's fluff, there's no motion in it. It's just, it's just pure energy. That was really shaped like a funnel wall cloud. Or is it, hang on. It's like it's being pushed down from the top of the cell. I'll be more interested to see what's happening inside there. That's where the rotation is really kicking in. Shit. I can't pick it, but we may have a tornado on the ground. Our least a large one forming, I see it there, um, at our 11 o'clock. Too far away to pick it. Pick it. Check it as well for make sure it's doing okay. We've offered him, uh, he's, he's in staging point. He thought there was actually something on top of us. Uh, but at the moment, he's just in staging area. or just holding this position. We've offered uh, our assistance if he wants to go in with us. And uh, liaison radio if he wants it. At the moment, we've said the area of interest to be watching. watching a twisting storm. Please just in there. Caution. That's where we need to be watching. Got a lot of motion in and out of yeah, anyway, so I've offered him a liaison radio if he wants it, and he's, I think he's just going to stay exactly where he is, I think. He's been just told to stay still. And it might be a better option for him. Yeah. But look, he knows we're both available to assist if he, if he needs. Yeah, we can, get a, we can get a lot closer than that. a twisting storm. Please exercise caution. I'm doing a report as a uh, rotating wall cloud, no defined funnels or tornado at this time. Yeah, I cannot, uh, I cannot see an actual tornado at this time. So Positioned just up on this bit here, we won't get any further forward. Uh, just get a high spot. Copy that. Yeah, I see the I see the rotating rain curtains. Okay, let's get set up just here. Hey, Green, Jeremy, where are you guys at? Yep, confirm it. Confirm tornado. Confirm tornado. You're approaching a twisting storm. Please confirm exercise tornado. caution. Confirm tornado. Confirm
That's a dangerous, dangerous tornado. Jesus, people are just struggling to drive straight into this. You're approaching a twisting storm. Please exercise caution. Back in RFD, but we've got to be careful. Yep. Jesus Christ. Main rotation is going to pass to the north, I believe. Yeah, that's correct. Watch the rain curtains here really carefully. You're approaching a twisting storm. Please exercise caution. Doing an updated report. Copy. Uh, great, Jeremy. You're approaching a twisting we storm. Please exercise no caution. Final, but there was something on the ground. Uh, I'm not sure what the road name is. We're just south of 1220, though. Like 10 or 1220. Uh, would be south. South and west of it. Just about three minutes ago. You're approaching a twisting storm. Please exercise caution. Doing update it, got my internet back. And Daniel, we're on highway 34. You're approaching a twisting storm. Correct. Please exercise caution. Okay, thanks. That is confirmed. We are on highway 34. We're just south of uh, County Road 1220. They got the road shut down. No, no debris. They just they closed the road. Shit, could be a wedge. I think I see a wedge, left hand side edge.
Okay, Don, well, we're coming in the back with the fire crew, so uh, again, procedures as we discussed, uh, watch for power and uh, triage, basically, what we have here. I cannot see anything on the ground in there anymore. I saw the left hand side edge of it. Um, we'll see the damage path a little bit further up. Remember, this was very, very wide rotation, so I'm not sure how bad it will be. We've got some trees knocked down to the left, possibly. You're approaching a twisted yeah, storm. Uh, uh, that's a negative. We do have power poles down this location up ahead. Power lines down here. I just got no internet here. Yeah, 152. Very good. threats as far as other storms coming up behind us. Uh, damage in the middle of the road. Yep, I see that. Don, we've got multiple structures here. Yeah, copy, I see that. I uh, don't know how bad yet. You're well, I'm not really sure. Please exercise caution. Okay, I've got uh, search and rescue uh, paint if we need it. If we need to mark systematically, got voltage detector in the back. Uh, stru slight structures, left hand side houses. Let's work our way out, reporting to emergency services to see where we go from there. Okay, it's active. Uh, right now they've got the intersections closed down. No one has been checked on. They're treating the whole area as active hazmat, active power, active gas leak until they've declared the area safe. Anyone who comes out walking wounded will treat here. Otherwise, he said to stay on standby here. He's happy for that to happen. He says that's the safest way for all the responders. They're setting up their, um, basically they're setting up what needs to be done until they declare the area safe for access to what's gonna happen. So the fire chief, retired fire chief, is just gonna stop people until they've declared the area safe. Anyone coming towards us that needs assistance will treat here. He's good with that. You good with that, Don? Um, from what we can see, there's just roofs, bits and pieces are torn apart. No one's gone through the area yet. It's just it hasn't happened yet. So we're just waiting at the moment.
to me, but this will go off because I've got an inverter in the car. Just, just fact okay. that. We're going to go up with, stand by, with a off duty sheriff. Let's go, four ambers. And we're going to go in with a uh, Don, myself, and Rick the Fire. Chief retired, as a request we actually go up to the fire station, which is um, getting some walking wounded coming in. Uh, at that point we're not going to be streaming that, we'll just be set up, sitting up to, just set up there and assist where we can with that. So Don's just going to follow him behind. Here. It's definitely done some damage. Lines are dead. Yeah, lines are dead. significant damage up here. Wow. Um, I sense we'll be getting some uh, walking wounded here as well. Your right side here was hard as too. See that? I'll get photos another time. Let's go straight to where we need it. Yep. Venting gas. Can I hear it? I have a full NBC gas mask. That's good to know. And I believe I have two spare canisters for it as well. Maybe I just have two canisters. Yeah, power's clear. Yeah, power's clear. Copy. Um, Rick, your, hello. Rick, Rick, your retired fire chief, has requested there's walking wounded coming into your fire station. Do we know the scope of what's required up there for medical services? Uh, they're doing rescues now. Uh, still, that's okay. all I know. But as far as, how much further up is, is it? Is what? Your fire station. Oh, it's about two hey. miles. It's a couple of miles? Yeah. Hey, Mark, good to see you. Did you, were you south of this one? Yeah, I was south of this one. Any, I'll, 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 we'll debrief later. Any wounded up there that you know about? No, as far as we know, there's one person missing in here yep. that they're in the middle of search and rescue for, uh, okay. but that's all we know. Okay. Otherwise, this is the only damaged part. Nothing's not damaged up there. Yeah, no, I'll just, yeah, just, the fire chief's getting reports as walking wounded going to the fire, fire station, so. Um, anyway, the ambulance is coming through, I want to clear this up, clear this out. Oh, up to the fire station, check on that, because that's when I've been directed by the uh, former fire chief. Right. So, we're going to go there, we'll come back, I if it's clear. Yeah, so, we'll I'm, I'm going we'll there here. first to see what's there. Over here, so we'll, we'll, Okay, all right. First things first, is this, just make sure. Don't, we don't know numbers. No one knows numbers. So, excuse me while I'm just driving like an Australian. Uh, apparently, Mark Robinson, we just saw for the first time in a long time. Um, apparently, there's one person missing. We have no further details on that at this stage. So, that's that's all we know at this moment. Well, that looks like it's just the south side of the town. I got hit. Yeah, very, very lucky. Yeah, that could have came right through the center of town. That would have been that would have been a tragedy. 
yeah, switching off all ambers at the moment, just go to normal traffic conditions and we'll make our way up. I can't see how many people would be going up north, but anything's possible. I want this ambers to go past. We could, we could actually do have people here, so we'll find out shortly. Let me just lock up quickly. Yeah, three guys. Okay. Last one, be honest. Number one right behind you is with you, all right? Yeah. <laughs> He's got a bat. Got a briefing up ahead. Uh, 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 right here, right here, work. Okay, that's it for today. Well, we need to attend a briefing which is about to be held, and we'll leave you for the night. But we've got to go.